Hi, and welcome back to Cypher Steel Forge. A uh, lot's happened lately. Things have really not been working out the way I, I had intended for the uh, the channel to be. And so we're kind of going to make some changes around here. Uh, things have just been crazy with school and taking care of kids and work and, and, and things at the shop have been a little bit nuts. We, we had to move the shop been a lot of orders which have been great really i am grateful for that it just hasn't worked out the way I, I was intending to where we could continuously put out videos about the flea market stuff but at the same time i i've realized that uh, you know i've been kind of missing out on showing y'all some of the really cool stuff that happens day to day around the blacksmith shop uh, like today's video is going to be a really awesome one. It's a one-off thing. Never done anything like it before, but we could have completely missed it because it's not about a flea market knife. So we're kind of going to change up a lot of that. I'm going to put out more videos about the stuff that we just normally do around here, as well as continue to when we can put out the flea market knives because that's, you know, a lot of fun and I enjoy doing that. Um, We've got some some uh, upcoming projects that, that are going to be a lot of fun. Going to do some handles for some flea market knives for my daughter, little wall hanger bits. But we're going to, you know, make some changes to them, make them really cool. So uh, with that in mind, let me introduce today's video. Now, my roommate John and I have been working on this piece for, for about a week or so now. It's really awesome. What it is is a two-tiered end table it's made out of live oak we got the live edge oak and so what i've done is forged out the pieces to uh, all the hardware for it so uh hand forged the uh, the legs for it out of rebar uh the uh i guess leg for a lack of a better word there i i made a a piece to hold the second tier up above the the base which was made out of rebar and was shaped like a snake. So it kind of curls up and holds the top piece there, um, forged out the brackets to, to uh, attach the snake to the uh, the wood. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's really cool. And uh, it came out beautiful, and I really enjoyed the, the process uh, John did. So what I'm going to do with the rest of this video is show you some of that process. Unfortunately, I missed a lot of it. We just uh, really weren't thinking about it as as a video thing. So, you know, cutting the wood, a lot of the sanding hasn't, you know, is, isn't on here. Uh, the first two legs aren't on here. Now, we are going to go in, and I will do an update at another time because we're going to go back over it after it's been polyurethane, and we're intending to, to do a resin pour in some of the, in the uh, knot holes in it. So that's going to be really awesome. And I'll do an update video when, you know, when we get that done. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm going to just uh, go and kind of pass the buck to the me from a little while ago who was outside working. All right, so we're out here in the forge. Like I was saying, we're going to do something really different today. It's a little bit different than what the, we've been trying to do in the show. But I think this is going to be really cool. I don't want y'all to miss out on some awesome stuff. Now, like I was saying... We're going to do an end table. Now this here is going to be the top of it. See, it's got a nice hole. We're going to do some epoxy stuff. That's going to be really cool. But right now, we're working on the last of the legs. So I'm going to forge this out of rebar. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we got our half-inch rebar. The first thing we're going to do is flatten out where the screw is going to go. Yeah, one more heat. end piece flattened out and you can take a screw so now we're going to start bending this around get 
scrape it right on around that horn. So it'll sit nice and flat on the bottom of that table. legs so it can attach the tape. Okay, so now that we got the top piece, the part that's going to attach to the bottom of the table done, it's time to start working on the bottom runner. Now, once they're completely done like the other two, or at least almost all the way done, what we'll do is go back and tap them and fit them up to the table. But right now we're working on that scroll on the bottom. So we got the top bottom piece nice and hot. about where we want it and it'll burn in and that's where we're gonna set it all right so we finished up the legs John spray painting them black to keep them from rusting and make it look cool so now we're working on the part to separate the two levels of the end table like I was talking about inside what I'm doing is making a large rebar snake. Well, it's not going to be real big around. It's 3 eighths inch around, but it's going to be long. And it's going to be spring-like and going to hold up that second level. So what I've done already on this snake is to take a piece of rebar and I've round tapered the end so it looks kind of like a snake's tail. So now it's time to work on the head a bit. What I'm going to do is take it over the anvil. Tippy 
tips. Got it shaping that head. I'm not a sculptor by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm just going to put a little bit of decorative twist in it. Got to see. Got to give it the idea of a snake. And there we go. That part's pretty well done. I, I may refine it just a little bit. See the tail's good. So now what I'm going to do is take this and we're going to curve it around and shape it to the table so the tail sits on the bottom piece of the table, gets screwed in. The rest of the body forms a platform spring to hold the top piece. Alright, so uh, once again forgot to do some filming, but as you can see we have made our little snake here. This part's going to sit on the bottom shelf of the table, and this part comes up to the top shelf, and this will be actually what holds that piece of wood up. You can see we got a little snake head on it. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we finished up the legs, and we've attached them to the table. You can see I went with a sleigh runner kind of design here, and got this live oak going to look gorgeous so next we're going to attach the snake it's going back here to give it that second uh, tier and this thing will be finished up probably not today we got a lot of pure polyurethane we got some resin work to do but it's looking awesome all right as you can see we got the uh the legs all together they looking good and uh this is getting the top part put together you can see the uh, snake and we're using some clamps and we're going to screw this thing down and that's going to be it for today uh later we're going to do some resin in this thing but this is going to be it for for my part of it for the blacksmithing for sapper steel forge and uh you know what john's going to do so uh you know it's looking good now we'll update it in just a minute all right and there she is all together we uh we had to turn a leg because it was a little off off center there Never made legs for a table before, so it's all new. But as you can see, she stands up, and the snake holds up the second part of the table. So, uh, yeah, this thing's good to go.